Over the years, users have submitted a ton of files to Google Earth Hacks. We've got a total of just shy of 28,000 files that have been viewed over 21 million times. Uh, as you can see, we've got a ton of categories, you know, again, a lot of files in there. The problem has been it's kind of a pain to add a file, especially for a new user. You have to go into Google Earth, find your location, add a placemark, save the placemark out to your computer as a KML file, then come to our site, upload the KML, and add the other text to go with it, and share it. Not a big deal for an experienced user, but kind of a pain. So I've taken our easy lat lawn tool and made that into a tool to make it very easy to submit new locations. Uh, this has always been a great tool for finding the latitude and longitude of location. Uh, if we just search, say, South Manitou Island, kind of a neat island just off the coast of Michigan. <laughs> um, we go here, and there's the latitude and longitude. I also have them broken out into separate lines. And then for your view, you can also grab the zoom, tilt, heading, anything you might need. But the idea is you can search something, and bam, there's your latitude and longitude. If you're building a uh, something with a Google Maps API or some kind of tool where you need to quickly get latitude and longitude, it's great just to fly around and grab that kind of stuff. Um, but I've taken it further now. We've added this new box at the top here to save this location. This works for any user, whether you're logged in or not. But if you're logged into our site, It'll keep track of your saved locations down here so you can pull them back up quickly. Um, so we'll we'll change our view here a little bit. Let me get a better view of the island. I kind of like this shoreline over here. Uh, it's cool high sand dune on it. And to move here now, I'm using the, holding the shift key um, and the arrow keys to change my view around and stuff. So we'll kind of do about like that. Of course, you can also use these controls and a variety of ways to set your view. But get it looking just the way you want. So we'll call it South Manitou Island. Um, beautiful island near Traverse City, Michigan. I'm not sure it's the closest city, but I know it's kind of near there. Uh, so we'll hit submit, and that saves it to our database. And now you can do a few things with it. Uh, one, you get a link to it that you can share with anyone, um, again, whether you're logged in or not. This link here will open up a new page specifically for that location that you can send to anyone on the internet, email it to them, share it with them on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. You say, hey, come check this out. You know, it could be for a new plane in flight that you found or something neat. Uh, if you want to also, you can view it in Google Earth. Clicking this will open a KML file for that location automatically. And we click that and let it load in. Google Earth will then fly you down there. You can check out the same spot. Uh, looks even better there. Um, also, you could save this KML file and you know, do what you want with it, upload it somewhere. Uh, and then also give you an option to embed it on your own site, put it into a your blog or your website. But back on this page, after you submit your file, you know, again, we search for location, named it, hit submit. You can add it to our site very easily if you want to. This now this part only works if you're logged in. But if you click here, submit this site, it automatically puts in the title and description, which you can change if you want. And you just have to choose a few other items here. The category, um, let's see, I'm not even sure what this would be. Let's see, natural formations. Yeah, probably about right there. And this is in Michigan, and it's in the United States, of course. And it automatically puts a link to where that is. And you know, this is the same link you can share with your friends, but you're just going to be submitting it to our site instead. So you hit submit, and you're done. Nothing to it. So I hope you find this tool useful. Um, even if you don't submit things to the site, you know, it certainly should be a useful way for you to share locations with your friends and um, post things on your blog and that sort of stuff. So if you have any suggestions uh, how we can make it even better, please let me know. Thanks.